Hello friends and welcome to my 15 minutes Monday video. Today we will talk about one of the most important color what you can find in my set. This is the cobalt. You now in some book you can find the information what the primary color, color is ultramarine or Prussian blue. For my feeling the primary color definitely cobalt. And it's very easy to prove. You know, I can mix ultramarine easily. If you just add a little bit alizarin crimson inside the cobalt, you have a ultramarine. But there is no way to mix that color. That's why in my travel set I have just two blue colors and one of them cobalt. Today we will talk about what we can mix with the cobalt plus how to create the very nice gray color. You can see uh, my subject for today on the screen. This is the very simple picture and that's the church near my house. And like usual I'm gonna use my travel palette and this time I put the cobalt right here because that will be more visible all what I'm doing. And uh, because our subject is not complicated. I'm not making sketch for this and we start to paint directly. Before we start I just make my paper wet a little bit. By the way, because you're all the time asking what kind of paper I use, this is Arches rough paper 300 grams. Okay, and before we start to use the cobalt, I make the few touching for the sky. This is the Quinacridon Deep Gold plus Quinacridon Sienna and finally I'm starting to mix the Purine Violet right here. Okay, and look, starting from this moment. I'm gonna add cobalt and any kind of mix on my painting, just except this part. And we're starting to create the clouds. For the clouds I'll take the cobalt directly and just put it in the same mix. So this is the cobalt itself. And uh, if I want to make something darker, I just mix cobalt with indigo and I have a pretty nice dark blue colors. If you add a little bit pure violet inside the same mix, you will have a very dramatic accents in the sky. And good surprise on the picture we have a pretty nice color in the sky itself and for this I'm gonna use cobalt with a second blue color what I have in my travel set this is the phthalo blue green shade from the Daniel Smith here is it that's the phthalo blue and that's the cobalt so together they give me a very nice color for the sky Little bit, little bit more concentrated accents. And we use the same mix here just a little bit lighter 
and a very important question how to avoid the green color for instance here you know for sure if you mix the blue color with a, any kind of yellow you have a green we don't we don't need the green in the sky that's why I add just a little bit pure violet or you can use alizarin crimson it's this there is no difference just to make our mix a little bit more reddish and that avoid to green color in the sky In the end, I switch to the calligraphy brush to add some accents for the sky. That will be again cobalt, that's our main color for today. Indigo and just a little bit pure violet. great so for now I just make it dry not completely just a little bit and the main question how to mix nice gray color for sure you can take a, any black color and starting to mix it with the water but you know that any black pigments not transparent I prefer to paint by transparent mix that's why we're gonna mix the gray color right now and the basic and the main color for that will be cobalt again so that's the cobalt and I'll take sienna this is a queen if you don't sienna a little bit pure and violet, more cobalt so that's the cold grey color what I'm gonna use for my building somewhere I add more Queen of Crown Sienna to make my mix a little bit more warm so that's the balance what I will try to keep for the whole the painting okay let's go Like I said, we're going to play with that. Somewhere I add more Queen Cardon Sienna to make my color a little bit more warm. Like here, for instance. more transparent mix to create the, the trees maybe make it a little bit more colder so mostly we playing with the silhouette but this silhouette will be look different if we 
continue to play with our colors like I say somewhere a little bit more cold somewhere more warm but it still will be the same cobalt and in the end we're gonna use the cobalt directly In the same mix I add a little bit more indigo to make the accents, the dark accents I mean. And I'm going to use the washout as well to bring the, the light. And in the end, I'm going to use my trail brush to make the tiny lines and accents. And again, we're going to use the same mix, like usual. Nothing special. I continue to put the, some graphic on top on that, but because my my base here is wet, I don't have a perfect lines there. It's blended, but that's exactly what I need. I need a very soft blending graphic design on top of that. And the, the last touching with the washout. That's what we have to keep in our mind all the time. We don't just add the colors, we as well can remove the pigments. That make our job interesting. Sometimes that highlights make more life than the perfect washing. Just be delicate. Okay, we finished our watercolor and again inside all the mixes except just what I did in the beginning 
on the sky it was the cobalt the primary color if you have any questions feel free to ask me all my experience for your service and like you already know starting from the last video on my youtube channel all the videos going with the two subtitles on france and thank you for watching and see you next monday bye bye